All right, welcome to the video where we are going to compute the integral going from 0 to infinity of sine of 1 over x squared. If you haven't seen the discussion video, well, make sure you check that out first. This integral actually converges. So how do we do it? Maybe you have a special technique, maybe complex analysis or whichever technique, but I would like to just go with the classic. Let me take a U sub. Put u to be the inside, right? Just like a natural choice. Let u equal to, I'm just going to write that as x to the negative 2 power so that I can differentiate this easily. du is negative 2 x to the negative 3. And then solve for dx. I will have to divide this to the other side. Multiply this to the other side, right? So technically it becomes x to the third power du. Now, don't forget to take x equal to 0 and x equal to infinity and then change them into u accordingly. For the first one, this is technically 0 plus, yeah, because it will go from 0 to infinity. And 0 is a trouble number because of the x squared in the denominator. If we put 0 plus into 1 over x squared, we get past the infinity. So u will be past infinity here and if x is infinity 1 over infinity square will give us 0 okay and then continue sine this is the u and then dx is all that so multiply by negative 1 half x third power and then du okay thanks to this negative though we can switch the order of the integration limit so we will have the integral going from 0 to infinity and let's put a 1 half in the front okay we have sine u but what's this extra third power doing though this is not allowed in the u world so what do we do hmm well don't worry why don't we look back to this equation here and then solve for extra third power and to do so, I'm just going to raise this to the, well, I want to cancel out the negative 2. So the power should have something over negative 2 power. But of course, I want to end up with the third power, so the top is just the third power here. So when you multiply, we get x to the third power equals u to the 3 over negative 2. So that part, I'll just put here, u to the negative 3 over 2. And then u okay is this any really is this really any better than the original uh, I hope so so u substitution is perhaps the most fundamental integration technique the next one I'll argue is the integration by part so let's try it, especially when we have u to some power times sine of u maybe integration by parts. So let's go ahead and put the D and also the I plus minus. But what should we be differentiating though? Usually when we have u to some power, we will do that, right? Differentiate that. So u to the negative 3 over 2. And then we integrate sine u. Okay. But if we integrate sine u, that's okay. However, once we differentiate this, Put the power to the front and minus 1, we get negative 3 over 2, u to the negative 5 over 2. This times that is the first part of the answer. That seems okay. But I will have to multiply this and that and put that in self integral, which is worse than the original here. Right? So I don't think this is the way to go. But it's okay. Don't give up on integration by parts. Let's just switch. Huh? Why don't we differentiate sine u? Because that's just as easy. Likewise, integrate this. Again, this is totally doable. Now, integrate this, we add 1. The new power is negative 1 half. Divided by negative 1 half, it's the same as multiplied by negative 2 over 1, and then u to the negative 1 half. Aha, this times this first part of the answer. So we have one half in the front 
and then we have negative 2 and uh, I'm going to just multiply by sine u on the top and then I will like to put down over this is the same as square root of u so that's the first part of the answer then I'm going to multiply these two things together as you can see this power is negative one half it's I, I think it's better than this one right here right okay so hopefully we're on the right track anyway so negative times negative that's going to be a plus integral and then we have the let me just write down two cosine u over square root of u du and for this integral it still goes from zero to infinity but for the first part we will have to evaluate it from zero to infinity now let's just talk about this real quick sine u is a bounded function right it's bounded between negative one and one it's always finite when you put infinity to the first part it's just finite over square root of infinity which is infinity finite over infinity is going to be zero and then next part if we put zero in to the second part okay fine that's going to give a sign of zero which is zero over zero we have to do the top top so i'm just going to supply this right here real quick note that if we have the limit as u going to zero technically zero plus yeah and then of the let's just focus on this function sine u over square root of u you can do Lapitos rule because huh? this is not u but i will use uh, the standard result but to do so let me multiply the top and bottom by square root of u that way we get limit u approaching zero so this will give us just u so we have sine u over u yeah times square root of u now the limit as u goes to zero plus or whatever this thing will give us one standard result all right and then when you plug in zero in here this thing will give us zero so it's one times zero so i did do the work for that right i did do the detergent for that to tell the however however that works all right so the first part here is just equal to zero now for the second part i i i don't know well i do know but i wanted to say i don't know so that i will make you guys think a little, a little bit right so here's the deal we took a we took a u sub earlier i think this right here also requires some kind of substitution though it's not my fault it's this integral's fault here though let's just take a t substitution because this square root of u looks like you know it's been waiting it's like yelling at us hey substitute me that kind of thing all right do the usual business in this case u is equal to t squared so du equals 2t dt okay and then all right so this is u equal to zero and u equal to infinity if that let's just do it like here that will give us put out getting zero in here square root of zero is zero so t will be starting at zero plug in infinity t will also be infinity two is two cosine of u is now t squared over that thing is t and then du is 2t dt t cancel 2 times 2 is 4 and now this is 4 times the integral going from 0 to infinity of cosine of t squared dt okay and now hopefully you have seen my previous video where i told you guys that this thing actually 
it's very nice. It's the first nails integral, technically just half of it. So I will tell you guys the answer for this one. This right here is just going to be one half square root of pi over two. Okay, and of course you can simplify this a little bit. This is going to be two square root of pi over two. But I can do a little bit better because this is like saying square root of pi on the top over square root of two, right? And then for this two, I can, well, it depends on how you want to uh, simplify it. This is the same as saying, uh, just multiply the top and bottom by square root of two. I think that might be easier. That's equal to two. This and that cancel. So all in all, square root of two pi. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, what's going to be is this, we come here. That part is zero. Don't forget, we still have a one half all the way in the front. And then the inside here, this thing is just going to be that, which is square root of two pi. Why did I do this? Uh, let, me, let me do this real quick. Sorry. All right. Let's just reduce this and we get two square root of pi over two. This thing is here and then we have the one half in the front. So one half times this thing. So times two square root of pi over two. This and that cancel. So ladies and gentlemen, the answer to that is square root of pi over two. Ah, which I think this right here, it's very nice. Is this somehow related to that? Are they related? Well, yes, because you can use this result, the Gaussian integral to show this one right here. All right, so I will let you guys think about it. You, yeah, that's it.